Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our new nativity card for 2023. It's Christmas July in the studio and we've got something a little different for you today. Uh, it's sort of in the style of our befitting birthday cards. As you can see, the card base is going to stand up like this. Okay, so it creates a scene but without too much substance, uh, too much fluff, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start off by just taking a look at the base. Now again, I went with the solid scoreline version of the card here. You can see I've got everything folded. It's going to stand up like this and then ultimately when you mail it or hand deliver it, it's going to fold like this. All right, so we're going to begin by just doing some paper piecing on the base. And we have this beautiful little scene here. And you'll notice that we've got some little palm trees. The palm trees on e each side are going to be closest to the actual edge. Okay, so this one you want the palm tree to be pretty much right butted up to the right hand side. And this one's going to be on the, or I'm sorry, the left hand side. This one's going to be on the right hand side. And I think the safest way to probably do this is to begin applying glue to the main part of it, the bottom here. Okay. And then what I probably want to do, I guess we could try it both ways. I'm going to try it this way here. Try to get glue on all, all of it, including this very intricate little palm tree. And we want to line this up with the bottom right hand corner. So it should be flush with the bottom as well as the right hand corner. Okay, now it's, just want to make sure that we get it down in time. And this is why I considered just doing the bottom and I may end up having to do, the, do it this way anyway, <clears throat> meaning glue the palm tree down after I actually put this part down, but you know what? That worked out okay. But I, like I said, I'm going to try it both ways. That was actually totally fine. But as a suggestion, if you do have any difficulty getting the bottom lined up and then having enough time to get the palm tree lined up, go ahead and just do the bottom part first and just kind of leave the palm tree kind of dangling. Let me flatten this out. It'll be a little bit easier to work with here. And again, lining it up, making sure that it's flush with the bottom as well as the right hand side. And then take a look at that palm tree. Just make sure that once we do glue it down, that it's going to be right in position. <clears throat> and then what you can do is grab a scrap piece of paper and just throw a little bit of glue right on the very edge of it, the tip and just kind of fold back the palm tree and then just apply or paint some glue right on it and then press it down into place. Okay, so this background here is essentially the sky. Okay, that's what it's supposed to mimic. It's supposed to mimic the sky. All right, so we've got those in place. That looks beautiful. And we do have a series of little gold stars that we definitely want to pop into place. You'll notice that we have markers throughout the design indicating where we're going to put these. We have some four point stars, some five point stars, um, some, I think those are eight point stars. Yeah. And you can pretty much tell where, which, which one goes based on the markers. Okay. Now, since this is relatively small, I would suggest using your handy pick me up tool. If you have one, if not, it's not the end of the world. It's not that difficult to work with but it sure does make it easier to hold, rotate, and place in the correct location. Okay, so that one's gonna go right there, like that. Okay, I'm just gonna go around the bend here, and you'll notice that there are two of the five-point stars, and they look pretty much the same size. So just grab one, doesn't matter which one and pop it right into place using that little marker there. Give that a nudge, make sure it's centered right on that marker. I'm gonna grab the other five point star, throw a little glue on there. And of course, if you want, you can always decorate the sky with a few more little stars by way of embellishments, whether it be rhinestones or some pearls, whatever it may be. Okay, then we have two larger 
four point stars, and you can see those there. And then there's two smaller ones. Those are going to go up here in the center of our sky. Okay, so just a few little dots of glue on each one. Pop that right into place. There we go. Grab that last large one. This card's going to go together real quick. And what I would do with this one is when you send it, you probably, probably don't want to send it in a standard envelope, although you can. The idea with this is you're sending a greeting, but also sending a little piece of decor that illuminates, okay? And because this piece was intended to be sort of a home decor slash card, uh, it didn't really, I mean, you obviously have room back here to write. We also included this little note card, okay? So this little note card you can print out or cut out you can write on it, stamp on it, or you can take this into your design space or your cutting software and have your machine write a nice little message on here and include that with the actual card itself. Okay, so got some options there. And I think that's really cool. Will definitely stand out among all of the other cards that your recipient receives this holiday season, for sure. And you know, you can include a little tea light with it so they, you know, maybe on the note, write something about, I've included a little tea light, turn it on, put it behind the car because we've included, um, you can use a standard vellum for the center. We've included a print to cut uh, vellum piece here that is supposed to be sort of like an abstract um, stained glass, if you will, okay? So there is your beautiful background night sky, so to speak. Okay, and next what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the back of this. So we can flip this over, just be careful, make sure that these stars are nice and glued down. We have some vellum pieces here. Okay, now obviously this one is gonna go right here. It's gonna cover these three stars. We made it one piece just to save some time. Okay, then we've got these two. One's gonna go right here to cover these two stars. And then this one's gonna go right here to cover these two stars. So let's go ahead and just drop a few little dots of glue around the stars and pop that right into place. Just make sure that you are in fact covering the little cutouts. We're gonna cover that up with some panels in just a moment. Okay, let's get this one in place now. A few little dots around the stars and then just a little bit there. Pop that into place, like so, perfect. Okay, and up here, same thing. Just do a few little drops of glue like that in the shape of this piece. It's like a little hockey stick or something. Make sure you're covering the cutouts. Okay, and make sure this thing can still fold. There we go. Okay, so you can see we've got the vellum through there. And when we put a little tea light in there, hopefully it will kind of show through. All right, so we're gonna cover that up by way of these little panels. Okay, so this one's gonna go right here. And actually, before we do that, I almost forgot, we have this piece of vellum that we need to glue down. Now again, uh, depending on what you want to use, you can do this one here, okay? Or you can include a standard piece of vellum, whatever you want to do. Uh, we have a template so that you can cut out a, uh, whether it be silver or gold, whatever color you want to use. Or, again, in the extras folder, we've included this stained glass version, okay? And just pop that in place again, making sure that you are in fact covering the cutout so that from the front, we just see that, okay? That's gonna look real nice. All right, so now we've got these three little pieces here that we're gonna use to cover up the vellum so everything looks nice and clean on the back. And we can begin by just applying glue to the structure. 
just trying to do some new things here. And uh, most of you, well, a lot of you are like, what? what's going on? Why is this delayed? Well, we had one of our team members was under the weather for a few days, and then there was a vacation, and then we had the 4th of July weekend, and things just got pushed back. And, um, you know, with, with this whole new mentality about having a good life work balance, I kind of learned to let go and not push things too much because at the end of the day, uh, is, it, you know, is it really worth all the stress? Okay, so there's that. We got that in place. That looks great. And then we have two more panels. Okay, this one's gonna go right here. Just make sure that when you put it on there, it is in fact not obstructing the cutouts for the stars. This, this card's gonna go together real quick. Not a tough one at all. A little different, quick, one of a kind. I'm sure your recipient will really appreciate it. Now I'm actually like kind of lifting this up so that I can get some light shining through the little vellum area so I don't accidentally get this piece on top where it's obstructing the potential light that's going to come through. Okay, so there we go. Now the back looks beautiful. Nice and clean. All right, let's get that last one in place. Whoops. Whoops. I'm gonna hold it like this so I can, again, shine some light through there and make sure that I'm not obstructing the little cutouts there. There we go. Okay, I'll press that down so the background looks nice and clean. And there we go. So the, the structure is pretty much put together. Uh, obviously, we're going to put together our little focal point here. And I'm going to grab these three pieces. Actually, you know what? Let's put the caption together first. Uh, it's made up of these four pieces. Okay, so this is the backmost piece. Uh, this is the main part of the caption. Now, there's a lot of little details on this. Okay, so when you're cutting it out, make sure that you've got a nice, nice sticky mat, nice clean blade, and that you get your paper on there really well. Now I, I kind of fudged it a little bit, and when I went to cut this, I didn't press the paper down good enough. And because of all these little details, it shifted and it ripped. I used my brayer the next time and everything went perfect. Okay, so just match this up with the, the darker piece. Make sure that it matches up. It's a, like a little home plate sort of thing going on here. Press that down into place, and we have an instant caption, basically. Okay, there we go. Oh, holy night, beautiful. Then we'll take this, apply our glue to this, and then we're gonna glue this to the solid white, just like this. Okay, and then finally, take this, and we're going to glue this to our gold foil piece. So go ahead and apply your glue there. If you want, you can use some foam squares on this too to give this a little added dimension. Totally optional. Might actually be easier than trying to glue this to gold foil. As you know, gold foil is uh, it's not very porous very smooth material and sometimes could take a little extra time for everything to set but i love how detailed this piece is a lot of little detail in such a little area these machines have come a long way okay there we go i'm gonna put that off to the side for just a minute while we construct our main focal point here okay so what we're going to do this this piece here we've included this in case you're not using um, in my case, a gold foil. Okay, I have a gold foil piece here, and this white piece is going to go on top of it, and that's what's going to give us all the beautiful details. Mary and Joseph and the, and the baby, the baby Jesus. And in case you're not using this, 
we added this as, uh, well, just additional support to make it thicker, okay? Technically, because I have this gold foil, adding this piece, this is an exact replica of this piece. It's really not necessary. But if you don't, if you're not using gold foil like I am and you're using cardstock, I would highly recommend taking these two pieces and gluing them together. I'm actually not gonna do that because I think this is definitely thick enough to handle what I need, okay? So all I'm gonna do is take this piece and glue it on top of the gold, okay? Because if you look here, if I pop this back here, you can't even tell that it's there. It's the same exact piece, okay? So again, that piece is uh, a, a bonus piece if you're not using the gold foil or any sort of thick, thicker material for that matter. All right, so I'm gonna take my time on this because this is going on a piece of gold foil. I'm gonna to try to keep it somewhat inside the perimeter of the, in my case, the white. And I'm not going to put it in any of the super fine detailed areas and I will just paint the glue on should I need to after I get it in place because I am concerned about potentially blemishing the gold foil, which I don't want to do because it's not very forgiving, okay? So what I would do here is just kind of begin by lining up the silhouette figures, just making sure that those are accurate and in place and then maybe just go up to the top and you see what happened there, it slid. And fortunately for me, two miracles here. We got the baby Jesus and the fact that I did not destroy my gold foil. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that worked out nicely. I was considering inking this, but I don't know that I want to blemish it. I think it looks fine with just the straight white. It gives it a nice snowy appearance. And then we have this little piece here. It's gonna go right in the center. Okay, and that's gonna get just glued down flat. Go no glue, there we go. So that worked out nicely. And we'll pop that right in place. Should have a nice even border going all the way around this piece once you have it placed correctly. There we go. Okay, and now on the back of the lantern here, hopefully I didn't lose that piece. I've been known to do that. No, I didn't. We have a piece of gold uh, vellum that we're just gonna glue right to the back of the lantern. We want some of that light shining through just to give it a little bit of a different color. Okay, come on, Blue. What are you doing to me? There we go. Okay, so just a few little dots of glue back there. I'm gonna dab that, and this is gonna go right on the lantern on the back there. And there we go. Okay, so this piece is ready to go. Now we have the little star that's gonna go up at the top. You'll notice that one section of it is a little bit longer. The top is gonna to be shorter. And we're gonna take, and I'm gonna glue the gold part to the white part flat. And then if you want, you can take the silver that goes on top of the gold and with a little foam square that you may have to custom shape, or not shape, but custom cut, just to make it fit. I'm going to raise that one up a little bit. Okay, so I've got the gold on the white, and then we're gonna take the silver, and you wanna offset it a little bit so that it's not sitting right on top of the gold. You want the points to kinda of come out in between the points of the gold and you can glue that down flat, or you can, like I said, uh, make yourself a custom little foam square by simply just cutting it. And I took one of these small ones and just cut it into a quarter, like cutting up a pizza, kind of, if you eat square pizzas, which is like the Little Caesars, I think. 
It used to be one of my favorites. I haven't had that in a long time. But I digress. Now we're talking about pizza. Okay, it's going to go right there just like that. And there you have your beautiful star. Now with all this bling on there, it's almost kind of hard to see if it's all centered. It looks good. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, you can, again, you can either glue this down flat or popped on it. I'm going to actually... I'm going to keep the point of that below the pitch of the roof or the tip, the top of the roof. I'm going to use a little foam square on that. I think that looks really nice with that added dimension. I'll pull that off and apply that right there like so. That looks very nice. Make sure that's straight up and down. And give that one final little press. There we go. Okay, gorgeous. All right, so now a um, couple things here. This is actually going to get foam squared onto this surface here, onto the actual vellum. Now, one thing we want to do here is put this down and take this. This is going to be flush on the bottom as well as the left and right. So what we want to do is move this around until we have it where it's not being obstructed by... Joseph's head, okay, maybe just a little bit, like the T could be obstructed just a little bit, not too much though, okay, so we want it right about there, okay, and we can take this off and center it, okay, and that's where it's going to go. So again, you can either uh, foam square that down um, or glue it down, it's up to you. I'm going to use foam squares, okay, and what I can do here to kind of um, remember where I want it, I'm just going to take a scrap piece of paper, and that's where the tip of it is going to go. Okay, so try not to move that too much. I'm going to flip that over and apply my foam squares. I'm going to do one there, one there, and put one here, then one here, and peel that off. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is you know, also foam square the main nativity scene as well. Pardon my head here for a second. So I'm using that the bottom of that little piece of paper to help me with the vertical positioning. And then I'm just going to eyeball the horizontal centering. Let me take a look at that. I didn't push that down all the way just in case I need to lift it up a little bit and make any minor adjustments. I'm going to hold the tip in place. Okay, and pop that into place. That looks good. Okay. All right, so now there's our final little layer. Now with this, because that is one layer thick, <clears throat> we're going to go two layers thick on the actual nativity. And you know what you could do? Uh, it's totally up to you. If you want, you can use foam tape. Okay. So you could do foam tape. I'm going to use foam squares. They get the job done. Less material. I think it goes quicker too. And I think just three on each side will do the trick. And then, of course, obviously, we want to put a few on the roof as well. Okay. And that all of this will, in fact, make contact with the card base. Okay, so let's peel these off. And then we'll apply one more layer because we need it to be two layers thick. Okay, you know what? We can actually... Why don't we put one, put one here too and here. All right, so double it up. There we go. And you can peel the backing off as you go, or you can do it all in one fell swoop, whatever you want to do. So for the most part, pretty simple card. Just wanted to try something new. Keep it easy, keep it quick. With a beautiful, classic, an elegant design. There we go. Okay. And remember to keep this 
flush with the bottom and flush with the sides. So I'm kind of using my thumbs and my fingers here to feel the bottom and the sides. I'll pop that right in place. And I think I hit a home run there. Okay, so there we have it. All right, is that it? That's it. Okay, so of course, uh, as I mentioned, we have this little note card that you can include. And all you're gonna do is just apply some glue to this and glue it down on this little gold frame with a nice little, nice little border, nice little detailed border on there. And you're also gonna end up with a little bit of a gold border on the inside as well. Okay, give that a second to get its legs. Just make sure you get it centered. Flip her over, press down. Hopefully that didn't move. Sometimes it does that on me. Okay, perfect. And then of course, no Dreaming Tree card would be complete without a coordinating envelope, which I have here. <clears throat> okay, and we've got four tabs on here. We've got one solid piece. It's gonna end up being the uh, it's going to hold everything together. So what we're going to do is take this piece, and we're actually going to anchor it to the bottom first just to make it easy on us. So go ahead and apply your glue to one of the tabs here. We'll just do this one here, the bottom. And we'll grab this big guy and just get that lined up and centered. You can actually put that down flat once you have it aligned. It might be easier to look at it this way. Give me one second here. I'll pop it back on the on my surface here in just a second. There we go. Let's get that nice and aligned at the bottom. And we'll just hold that down. Give that a few moments. Okay, make sure there's no gaps there. You can fold it back over. Press down on the remainder of the tab. And then I'm going to use my... This is basically my bone folder. You probably have a real proper one. Kudos to you for using the correct products. Okay, so that lines up nicely. What we're going to do now is just apply some glue to these two tabs. Okay, I want to thin this out nice and thin. I'll do that in a second. I'll get the glue on the other side first. There we go. Let's spread that glue out the very edge on both sides that is drying out already and close it up it should just naturally fall into place since we have the bottom aligned already okay you just keep running your fingers along the perimeters here just hold that in place okay just make sure you don't have any gaps just keep pressing Try to keep the glue as thin as possible on these envelopes because for whatever reason, that's where they tend to warp the most. I, I still haven't really figured out why. There's gotta be a reason for it though. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good on both sides. All right, now what we're gonna do to wrap this up, we have the top flap. Score that a little bit, fold it. I'm gonna take this and glue this to the top. I'm not used to doing this because usually the, the flap is already attached to it. This is just an odd shaped card. So we had to create a custom envelope for it, and that's okay. Okay, get that in place. And then you can literally, if you wanna put this down flat, might be easier on you. Just take and line that up. You want to butt it right up to the score mark. Make sure you get it nice and centered. Press that down. You can fold it over. Check your centering. Check that seam. Keep pressing down. Okay, there we go. You can see I, I inked the, the top flap. 
So I thought it would look nice. All right, flip that around. And now we've got this little piece that's gonna go right in here. I want that nice and centered. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just putting a few little dots around the star shape. And maybe a little bit here. And then on this, I'm gonna put glue around the perimeter. Because I don't wanna put glue on this whole thing. I don't know where to put it and where not to put it when it comes to the center design. So I'm just gonna err on the side of caution and do a little bit on both the actual flap and the gold. And then that way, I know for a fact that I won't get any glue on that beautiful gold foil there. Okay, and just keep pressing that down. And then finally, just like we have on the front of the card, we have a little silver star. It's gonna go right in the center to give that a nice two-toned look. We'll flip her over. Apply our glue and spread some of that out onto the tips and then just follow the little pattern there in the center of the star. Make sure it is in fact centered and press it down into place. A lot of reflection going on there. Sometimes it's hard to see, but that's it. So let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so you got your little note card, you can throw that in there. And of course, you can see here, once we fold this correctly, just fold that back, it fits within the confines of the envelope. So beautiful card. And let's grab a light and turn this thing on, see what it looks like. So here's kind of a, a little sneak peek at what it will look like. Um, all the lights in my studio are not out right now, just the main lights are out. Um, I have some other lights in here, but as you can see, that looks pretty cool with the stained glass. Now, of course, when we design something, um, you know, for vellum, it never really prints out um, as vibrant as it is when you actually design it. So I'm gonna maybe see um, how it looks with maybe a silver or a gold instead. So that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new project, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our new Christmas in July bundle, I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 40,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.